In March of 2022, we went to Prospect Place for one of our first investigations. It was here that we captured our first disembodied voices and changed how we looked at the paranormal forever. Did you not hear that? I'm gonna try to sing. Like, yes. Yeah. Sing or laugh. Did you hear that? Yeah, it literally yeah, sounded like it was right behind, behind you. you. Now, almost two years to the day, we return to where it all began. Prospect Place. Feels so good to be back here, dude. This is the first place we got a cap hole to go off. So right now we're just kind of setting up stuff. You see we're stepping stopping pretty hard. Nothing's flashing. I've got a motion light here and we're gonna set up a, a spirit box right now uh, to leave up here. As Armand and Caleb finished setting up the devices, Sabian walked into the attic. Bro, <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Save you. We are setting up the devices. We have some on the top floor, and we also have some down here on the bottom floor and the second floor, and we're going to do an abandonment session and leave the property for a few minutes, see if we can't get anything stirred up. Right now, we are going to the barn, where it's reported that a infamous bounty hunter had a mock trial here and was hung in this barn. So we're gonna take the spirit box out here with an EMF to see if we can get some evidence. My name's Caleb. My name's Armand. And this is Sabian here. We come with respect. We've been here before, and we're just hoping you can talk to us. Don't take chances. Don't take chances. Dude, that was over multiple channels. Can you tell us your name? Kevin? Can you tell us your name? Kevin? Do you want us to go to the basement? Do you want to follow us there? We're going to start heading that way. Please follow us. We are about to head to the basement right now. The last time we were down here in this spot, Sabian so. and Elliot both were touching the same spot in different rooms at the same time. We're coming in. So I think someone should sit in that room. Someone should sit in this room. Whoa, 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 whoa. I saw it. And then someone should sit over there. You know, if there's any spirits here, I am back down here tonight and you remember me from last time and feel like interacting with me please do i welcome it i'm scared i'm always scared i'm always spooked this is no exception especially since unfortunately we're down a person tonight there's only three of us so less people yeah i'm extra nervous i am in the i guess you would call it a hallway the guide has reportedly said multiple times she has felt the uneasiest here saving you want me to turn the lights out Yep. So three, two, one. Lights out for a bit. Lights out. Again, to any spirits that are here, I know we're just kind of getting started for the night. Uh, I am Sabian. I would like for you to interact with us while we're down here. I'm Armand. I swear, dude. I just heard your name. On the spirit box or in, with your no, ears? in my ear. It was like, our mind. Like, it was, dude, I'm, I'm serious, bro. That's like, that was weird. Okay. 
I said it does vaguely feel like someone's like playing with my hair or my neck. I mean, obviously I'm the one that's always scared the most, right? Mm -hmm. I feel more calm. I'm, I'm getting that too. I, I definitely feel a sense of calm comparatively. I'm not saying there's nothing here or whatever, but I'm not scared like I usually am. While the three of us were in the basement, the music box in the dining room goes off. We decided to leave the basement and head to the cupola at the top of the property and do an Estes session. So again, I know we've explained this a thousand times on our channel, but we're doing an Estes method. He'll have the noise canceling headphones on, a blindfold on so that all he'll be able to do is hear the sounds coming through. Caleb. Hello. Hi there. Where is... No. Where, where is Trevor? Don't tell me. That has to say, where is Trevor? <laughs> it said, where is? And I swear I heard Trevor and it like faded. Is there anything you want us to tell Trevor? Coming. So are you downstairs right now? Yes. Are you talking? Yes. Are you coming up the stairs to join us? Hi, John. Is John, your name John? John's one of the names. Yeah. Is your name John? Are you? Are we talking? Man. Are we talking to John? Mad. People. Today. Are you mad? I am. What are you mad about? My back. This is Armand. My back is itchy and tingly. It could be a spider web or something, but my back is itchy. Can you tell us who you're talking to? Who's yeah. It? Tell us the name of the person holding the radio right now. Yeah. Twice. Who's holding the radio right now? Ooh, I think I heard my name, Armand. <laughs> and, Armand and? Here. A very deep woman's voice said here. Thank you. Who is here? Are you the matriarch of the family? Yeah. Okay. Same woman's voice, yeah. Hi. Oh, I heard that. I heard Abraham Lincoln has Good been. night. Bye. It was just like a static for so long. Armand decided to go down and explore the next floor under while Caleb stayed to do an Estes session with Sabian. Where are you? Be careful. Who are you talking to? Armand? Oh my god. <laughs> Kill yourself. Ooh. I'm down here. I'm done. I just heard Caleb on the spirit box say, Armand, kill yourself. Did we do something to upset you? Who is that? This is Sabian. Come talking. over. Where do you want me to Ice go? Ice cold. Did you live here? Uh, I'm thinking. Armand. What do you want with Armand? Do you want him to go upstairs? Downstairs? I see you. Where are you? I just got a cold breeze right here. Caleb? I'm getting the weird tingles. Where? My whole left side, like my arm and my back. Please. I just asked to whisper my, to myself to touch you on the back. Other? You what? I just whispered to myself and probably the camera for something to touch you on the back. I did not hear you say that. Oh, sh dude. I'm done. We're going to get him out in a second. Is there anything else you want to say to Caleb to wrap it up? I'm done with it. At this time, we decided to pull Caleb out and regroup at the dining room table. We spent the last couple minutes just kind of talking and reflecting. I know the last time that we were here, when we started opening up about our personal lives, and some of the stuff we deal with is when you seem to resonate and make noise for us, so. Yeah, this is the table where, as cheesy as it sounds, it kind of all began for us. We all came into this pretty skeptical, us three and the two that were with us. I feel good with what we did. Like, I'm really proud of what we something? did. It almost sounded like a, like a quiet like baby wailing. Oh my god. Alright, well let's be quiet and see if we can hear a, a voice or a whistle or a hum. If you can give us any sort of noise to let us know that you're here with us. What 
up if we turn the spirit box on it seemed like that was working for you earlier if you may be able to cycle through some channels first <laughs> Are you trying to go to sleep? Are we keeping you up? Who's with us right now? Why don't you come into the dining room with us? Start talking with us in here. After five minutes of silence, we decided to check out the second floor. So we are on the second floor in the kind of chapel room yeah. is what it was used for previously. You got these nice decorations up here. And then in the hallway where I can look, we have the flux device as well as the rim pots. So we're hoping to just talk, be in here and hope that something responds in the hallway. If you're cold, can you get close to one of the devices in the hallway and maybe it'll warm you up? Can you let us know you're nearby by getting close to something in the hallway? If you're on the second floor in one of these rooms, can you make a sound in that room to show us which room you're in? From our group, I'm typically the one that's the most scared and most, I would say, easily frightened. For Green. Bro, that has not gone off all night. Can you come a little closer and interact with the device right in front of that that's glowing red? It says when you weren't able to make it to church, this was like your own little sanctuary here. Was this a happy room for you? Or maybe this was a place where you found peace. Okay. We're gonna leave our toys in the hallway while we jump to the other room. Man, this room is freezing. Like, just to think about it, that's 100 years before my dad was born. Say the names, Caleb. Jesse? What's up? Is that green? green? What are the odds of that? <laughs> Jesse, thank you so much. That means a lot to us. This place means a lot to us. We heard somebody sing to us. We believe it was maybe you or one of your sisters. Did you sing to us, Jesse? After several minutes with no responses, we decided to finish the night in the attic. So what's happening right now is Sabian and I are on the top floor in the attic. We're both gonna go under noise canceling headphones lined up with a spirit box, do a double S this See method. You too. Me. We're going to do a double Estes method and just yell out what we hear, but instead of sitting, we're going to be walking around. Armand. Finished. Finished? Are you finished with us here? Or are you done talking to us? Goodbye. Yep. Are we not welcome here anymore? Just went quiet. My assessment, what do I know? This place, if you want to call it haunted, infested, whatever you yes. want to say, there's some, there's something here. Right. Whatever it is does not want us here. We will go. First time. Can you? Here. We were here one time. Lost. This is your first time here? First. Second. This is our second time here. Can you tell Come us? Get me. It was like a kid's voice. Where are you at? Are you in the basement? Right here. We're right here with you. Bye. Dead. Done. Me. I'm so sorry. Kill room? See ya. Oh, that was a kid. It was like a little, little kid. Mommy? It's a lot of static, but I heard done and stop you want us to leave night remove remove what spirit you guys both said something about finish good night get out and i was like do you want us to leave go stop right. i was saying stop i know you guys were saying them both at the same time i was getting 
done leave good night and bye three hours ago in the cupola and then we really didn't get much the last few hours and then we come back up here and do this again and you and i are saying good night leave bye bye i don't believe this necessarily but if something's with us and it sees what's with us that's why it te it's telling us not to be here not necessarily that we've done anything but something's with us after reflecting on the evening it was time to pack up for the night but not before reviewing the camera and spirit box we left in the attic earlier in the night. Wait. 